name's Sarah Thomas. I'm Head of Marketing at Fitness Fairs Middle East and I'm here to talk to you today about my top tips of how brands should stay relevant and highly engaged with their customers and the general community during this time. The times the world is facing right now are very unique. Circumstances that as marketeers and businesses we've never really faced before. This means we have to think fast, we have to think on our feet, we have to innovate and we have to make sure that we are there for our customers, our staff and the general community. Well, despite stores, shops, gyms being closed, it doesn't mean that business has to stop. It just means you have to innovate and quickly adapt to the circumstances. That for us meant being online. We are the fitness partner for our members despite whatever circumstances are going on in the world right now. We are still there. We are their partners and we are there to continue motivating them to help them lead a safe and healthy lifestyle. From our live streaming classes, we have up to 10 classes every single day. We also have online personal training. We also have YouTube videos so people can work out in the comfort of their home at any time and many, many other initiatives including live meditations weekly. So really, it doesn't matter if the, if the doors are closed, you can still stay relevant by making sure that you're addressing your customers' needs and you're showing them that no matter what, you are there and things will still continue. Well, we all know brand positioning is about the place you hold in the consumer's mind um, and how you differentiate between yourself and other competitors and products. Now, for us, it wasn't about the fact that our, our customers can't experience our products. We wanted to make sure that they still can. That's why we moved our business online and really capitalized on digital platforms. As I mentioned before, we are using social media, we're using new online video streaming, uh, and we're really focusing on coming up with new innovation, new things that may make sure that the customer's experience is still maintained despite us being closed. The third point for discussion is about talent and your staff. What we have uncovered from this experience is the talent in our business is absolutely huge. And there's a great opportunity here in these times, as I said, to create an emotional connection with your customers and the community, to show that the real people that are in your businesses and how they can support people in these times. We have so much passion within our business, so much talent and so much excitement that we want to create an infectious uh, attitude of this and make sure that people are at home can still feel happy, safe and positive during these times. So how can you use the talent in your business to go above and beyond, be fast and create innovation? Well, I think this is the same for our business and probably most businesses, if not all out there. Out of any adversity, there is always an opportunity. And for us, we have seen this as an opportunity, as I mentioned, to really capitalize on the digital world. We have innovated and we have innovated fast. As I said, we wanted to go above and beyond and think fast on our feet of how we can maintain the needs of our customers. We have launched many new initiatives and all of them in a matter of weeks. For example, online PT. Previously, before this, we obviously conducted all our personal training sessions within the gyms, but now we saw an opportunity and a need for our customers to have online PT. Now, what's to say that this new innovation isn't something now we're going to continue because there's a demand and a need and we're all about convenience. Another idea is the innovation of live streaming. Before, all our classes were done purely inside our gyms, but the absolute overwhelming feedback gratitude and thanks for these live classes we've experienced from our customers and the wider community means that we know there's a need to continue these and this is new business opportunities that all businesses can look for and capitalize on to drive their business not just now but when the shutters come up and things do return to normal my next point is about innovation i've mentioned it already but in these unique times this has created so many opportunities for businesses and brands to identify ways of innovating their business, innovating their products, and really coming up with something new. And again, how can you learn from others? How can you look at maybe smaller businesses that operate purely online, who are still going strong in these times? How can you learn from them 
and utilize what they're doing and bring your business into the same platforms and really look at innovation and learning at the same time to make sure that you're relevant, you're online, you're accessible and you're convenient. Thank you for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure to share some information with you about Fitness First Middle East. If you'd like, are there any other information or you want to connect with me, you can find me on LinkedIn, Sarah Thomas. Thank you and have a fantastic day.